Hi guys, if I can have your attention real quick, we will begin momentarily. We haven't started yet, but two very important things. Number one, if you are an awards winner, we're going to ask if you please sit in the first two rows and have been registered at the table. Thing number two, if you would like a program, and you should, they're nice. We have these little QR codes that are printed on the little cards that were handed out as you came in. Feel free to scan them. Uh, get a program and, and look up your name. Cool. We'll begin momentarily. Thank you so much. Good evening. My name is Brent Morrison, and I am the Director of Event Services. I am proud and honored to be served, serving as your Master of Ceremonies for this evening. Before we begin, I'd like to ask for a third time, I know you got it, all award winners, please come on down to the front two rows. It'll make this much easier. Our wonderful ushers on the left and on the right can assist you if you need it. Also, to comply with our fire code of the state of Tennessee, we must advise you of our emergency evacuation procedures. In the event of an emergency, don't panic. Calmly stand up and proceed to the exit at the left or the right of the auditorium, whichever one is closer to you. Smoking, including the use of e-cigarettes, is prohibited. You are welcome to take photos from your seats during the ceremony, uh, and we encourage you to do so. But please do not approach the stage while our students are crossing, they're participating, because it obstructs the view of others. But rest assured, we have a crack photographer. His name is Taylor Gash, and he is very good at capturing your loved one. So be sure to get a great photo of each student, and he's going to have them. And then also he'll be at the, the post ceremony if you want additional uh, photographs. Again, Taylor Gash, very good. Some of our award winners were not able to make it tonight. Uh, for example, some are even right now competing at the Skills USA competition that's happening in Chattanooga and dominating. Uh, but they're not here, and others have like causes. So even though they're not here, uh, we're not going to be announcing their names or accomplishments, but please note that everyone is listed in the program. And if you know them, be sure to congratulate them and tell them job well done. In an effort to practice sustainability, again, we have these QR codes. Scan it, get your program. Now, if you've never scanned a QR code before, today is your day, man. <laughs> Step forth. Uh, what you do, you can take uh, the camera that's on your smartphone device, and if you just point it at the code, it will probably pop up and say, hey, this is actually a QR code to a hyperlink that goes to a website. It might not verbalize that, but that is what it's going to tell you. You click on that hyperlink, and it'll take you right there. If you need any assistance, uh, myself, any one of a stage party, as well as any usher can assist you after the ceremony with making sure that you can get to that program. Tonight's ceremony will be live streamed at Pella City State's YouTube channel, and it's a happening place. I encourage you to go. If any friends or family uh, still want to be a part of the ceremony but couldn't make it in person, please uh, go online to YouTube, and we'll have an archive recording right there. Award winners, be sure. Okay, so the way this night's going to go is we're going to hand you an award, and when we do, be sure that when you're crossing across the stage, 
we're going to take your picture, so remember to pause. Uh, when you go up there, please pause before exiting. Uh, that way we'll be able to take your picture. And I think I took care of all those announcements in my own way. So the next, I would like to ask you and join me in welcoming President Anthony Wise to the podium. Thank you, Brent, and thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, this really is, the, well, it's the busiest time of year, it feels like, uh, I think, to all of us who work in uh, higher education, but it really is the most exciting time of year as well. It's so many great examples of student work here at Pellissippi State, whether it's capstone projects or things in the art gallery or music performances or things taking place, drama taking place on the stage or students competing at Skills USA or debate and speech national competition, so many things going on where we get to see uh, the manifestation of the work our students have um, put in over the course of the year and of course what the faculty and staff have poured into them. So it's great opportunity tonight to celebrate that and I appreciate you joining us. This time I wanna th thank uh, and recognize the academic deans who are gonna help coordinate the distribution of awards tonight. We've got uh, Joan Jackson helping us out with natural and behavioral sciences. We've got Jonathan Fowler from Liberal Arts. Uh, Inez Gibson from the English Department here with us. Uh, Margaret Ann Jeffries of Engineering and Media Technologies. Merve Kester Thomas from Mathematics. Uh, Mike Wolf uh, of Business and Computer Technology. We've also got on stage Dr. Angela Hughes, uh, the uh, Assistant Vice President of Academic Affairs, and Travis Loveday, Assistant Vice President of Student Affairs, who will be assisting with the award presentations as well. So uh, we've got the stage party on board. We're gonna get in position and get ready to present our first awards, and I'll welcome Brent Morrison back to the podium. Stall for time. Uh, at this time, I would like to ask our ushers to assist our students, uh, winners, in lining up along this wall on this side. We will begin with our academic awards, including outstanding students, outstanding graduates, and awards of merit for each academic department. Uh, these were selected by the deans, faculty, and program coordinators of each department, and they are presented to students in recognition for their diligence and hard work in the pursuit of excellence in their respective fields of study. Um, if I can just take a moment to go off strict script, we are really proud of you guys. Um, it's an, a major accomplishment, and we're very glad you were able to see it through. Uh, you should pat yourselves on the back. Again, we are very proud. We will begin with the Business and Community Technology Award. Our first award is on the card. <laughs> Mark Below, Academic Awards, Business and Computer Technology. The recipient of the Healthcare Management Outstanding Graduate is Valerie Ballard. Recipient of the Computer Information Technology Cyber Defense Outstanding Graduate is Michael Faust. The recipient of the Business Hospitality Outstanding Graduate is Chloe Griffith. The recipient of the English Outstanding Student is Emma Brunson. <laughs> the 
The recipient of the English Outstanding Graduate is Jason Shipman. The recipient for the Design for Web and Print Award for Merit is Lena Wilson. The recipient of the Interior Design Technology Outstanding Graduate is Allison Bohannon. The recipient of the Civil Engineering Technology Outstanding Graduate is Maria Elizabeth Zapata Torres. The recipient of the Web Technology Outstanding Graduate is Emma Browning. <clears throat> the recipient of the Music Outstanding Graduate is Ashton Arndt. The recipient of the Aristotle Award for Outstanding Student in Debate is Reggie Johnson. The recipient of the Criminal Justice Outstanding Graduate is Chrisaya Billingsley. The recipient of the Studio Art Outstanding Graduate is Haley Cuban. The recipient of the Mathematics Outstanding Student is Zachary Gerber. The recipient of the Mathematics Outstanding Student is Chloe Hayes.
The recipient of the Physical Education Exercise Science Award of Merit is Amy Schaffner. The recipient of the Teacher Education Outstanding Graduate is Emanuela Cross. The recipient of the Magnolia Avenue Campus Leadership Award is Kiesha Safel? Safel! The recipient of the Blount County Campus Leadership Award is Sarah Slayton. The recipient of the Hardin Valley Campus Leadership Award is Maria Jose Ortiz Canones. The recipient of the Strawberry Plains Campus Leadership Award is Marcella Mion. The recipient of the Aristotle Award for Outstanding Student in Debate, the Excellence in History Award, the Outstanding Graduate in Communication Studies, and our Student Government Association President of 2023-2024 is Mr. Paul Fisher. The recipient of the International Leadership Award is Amadou T. Dion Benjamin Ba. The recipient of the Phi Theta Kappa 2024 All Tennessee Academic Team is Ashton Arndt. At this time, I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Wise to close our ceremony with a few words.
So how about one more round of applause for all of our great student award winners. And then I need one more loud round of applause for the folks who helped organize this. So they're, they might be out in the hallway, they might be getting ready to move to the, the next uh, phase of our celebration, but Candace Wilson, uh, Debbie Shope, Andrea Holloman, and Bridget Mishin are the ones who helped organize this event and pull all of these people together so we could recognize these students. So how about a big shout out for them <laughs> and their great work. So at this time, I just want to thank you again for joining us and celebrating these great students uh, and the work they've done here at Pellissippi State. I hope now you'll join us in the College Center in the Goins uh, building for refreshments and photographs and a chance to visit uh, a little bit at a reception over there. Thank you for attending, and we've got ushers and folks from the college who can help you find your way over there if you need some help. But thanks again for being with us tonight. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, that was a fun